I always get comments before as well, like comments like, oh my god, you're so unhinged, why are you so angry? Uh, how are you not angry? If you're not angry, if you weren't angry even before this started happening, you simply aren't human, man. I'm not angry, I'm not unhinged, I'm the only fucking sane person in the fucking room, in fact. Everything that I had ever said was proven and has been proven right in the last year to such a massive degree, yet for some reason it took that for you guys to realize it. It took a genocide, full-on extermination campaign for so many people to fucking notice. That's the actual problem here, that's the unhinged thing. You know what the normal thing is? Now I'm not saying that debate on my channel, on my main channel video, the debate between Mehdi Hassan and Elon Levy. I'm not shitting on Mehdi Hassan for that because it's one of the few good things he's ever done. But are, are we insane? Why are people having a debate like it's a fucking spectacle on live TV and cheering, cheering the points that people make? Children are being fucking massacred. What the fuck is going on? Children are massacred and an argument over whether they should be massacred or not is turned into a fucking spectacle. You are unhinged if you can just fucking watch that as if it's a normal thing. Mehdi Hassan like lists a thousand Zionist war crimes and the crowd's like, Woo! Great point! Great point! W what is wrong with us? And people like, for people like Loner Box and Destiny, that they treat that like an opportunity to make some epic points and try and try desperately to come off as like, um, enlightened logic lords in front of their audience. The problem that these people have always had with me is very simple. It's that I'm one of the few who actually gave a fucking shit all along. I was never trying to moderate my position to reach a certain audience to get the metrics up like they do. I've never been trying desperately to get into cliques that they consider prestigious. I don't have, you know, friends in Hollywood in the mainstream media like someone like Hassan. That has always been that issue with me. And they tried to frame that as like craziness, as insanity. People have been calling me like an anti-Semitic genocide, genocide enthusiast for years because I advocate for the Palestinian right of fucking return. And it took so many of you watching right now, a genocide for you to hop on board with that basic position. The most basic thing ever. You know, give people stolen land and homes back. That it's illegitimate to found your country by expelling 800,000 people and keeping their descendants in concentration camps. And my position on that has been framed as like insane, genocidal, anti-Semitic by the most disgusting, depraved people in the world for years. And now I have people like, coming around now saying to me, like, I used to think that you were crazy, but now I see that you were right all along. Why did it take this for you to see that? Why were you so quick to, like, discount what I was saying beforehand? Because I, what I, I'm not the important thing here. It's what I was saying. It's what I've always been saying. Nothing that I say now is different to what I said before. It's not insanity. It's not, it's not being unhinged. It's not craziness. It's being right about fucking everything. It's being right about the state of the world. It's being right about the state of the world the whole fucking time since I ever started making YouTube fucking YouTube videos. It's always been the same. And the best thing that these fucking losers have ever had against me and what I'm saying is not to argue against it, but to say that even saying it shouldn't be allowed, basically, that it's crazy. And if this isn't a lesson for you that... People with the most basic opinions that should be obvious to anyone with an ounce of humanity in them are always going to be framed as crazy, insane, anti-Semitic, whatever random shit they can throw on it rather than actually addressing what is being said, because that's the only way they can deal with it. None of the people who have ever called me crazy, insane, whatever the whole time have ever, ever, ever had the balls to actually hop on and prove it. Destiny tried to talk to me. God, I, I should bring that up as well. Destiny. Destiny, by the way, is a sexual assaulter. He has bragged about beating his his girlfriends. Um, he once even said, even talked about how he planned to track down one of his fans and murder them. Openly said so on his stream, just to bring that up. It's something that needs to be said. So I debated Destiny years ago, and I literally made him look like a child being lectured on a subject for the first time. It, he was so desperate that he was looking for points in his chat. Not a lot of people know this. It was this video. Introducing Destiny to the most basic concepts you could ever imagine in this video right here. After this, Destiny immediately blocked me on everything, and he has never addressed my existence since, because it was so embarrassing for him. Because he knows what would happen to him if the dumb, repulsive shit that he says was put to actual scrutiny against someone who isn't fucking wishy-washy with everything. I mean, it's happened since, in his hilarious attempt to talk with, um, um, Moin Rabini and, um, Finkelstein. He, he was just reading his chat, desperately repeating shit they said. He had no fucking ear what was going on. So people like that call me crazy 
because they know that they can't refute a single fucking thing about my positions. You should look out for this because calling people crazy, sometimes they are just crazy. But all of my positions are now the most basic positions that tons of people who were liberals a year ago now hold. And it took a genocide for them to arrive at it. How sad. It's sad that you ha you needed a bunch of children being massacred in vivid 4K detail shown on your, on your Instagram feed every day for you to come around to this. It's just sad. Now wait until I tell you that the Americans were the original Israelis. Now what if I tell you that the USA in 1776 was not a war of independence, but the American version of the Nakba. You should be reconsidering everything that you have ever believed, not just what is happening right now. George Washington was the Ben-Gurion of the USA, who led a war against the British so that he could kill Native Americans and do more slavery, more than he could before. That was the point of it. And that's what they truly did, because that was the point of it. You know why we oppose Israel today? So that Israel doesn't become what you, your country is now in two centuries. Well, actually, it's going to be underwater, but you know what I mean, if it wasn't underwater. 